Hello guys and welcome to my TypeScript series, where I show you how to code with TypeScript. In this series I will show you some advanced features of interfaces in TypeScript. Those of you who are not familiar with the interfaces in TypeScript should first watch the video about interfaces by clicking the button over here. So let's start. Let's start by creating an file for today's episode. We'll call it advanced interfaces. Yes. Those of you who are new to my channel, there is a link in the description down below uh, to the Git repository where all the, the examples of my videos are there. Okay. So, uh, after creating the file, I'll start by uh, showing you an interface of a constructor and how to use it. So, let's create an interface of items, item constructor. Okay, it's, it's for now it's simple empty interface, it doesn't have anything in it. And what a constructor interface looks like is like this. It has the new keyword and uh, the return type of the, uh, the thing the constructor creates. It's red because I don't uh, have uh, an item yet. And for the item I will want to initialize it with with some ID. Uh, so let's create the interface of the item and it will be an interface sorry of an item it will have only uh, the ID. Now let's implement the item with a class class item and it implements the item interface and it simply has the ID exposed like, like so simple uh, class with a public property now let's create a cache class okay class uh, items cache okay and we will initialize it with the items builder items constructor constructor i items items constructor items constructor yeah like this and we'll set it as private okay i will put it like this for you to see okay so uh, we receive uh, the constructor and save it as a private uh, member and we will have a public uh, create item um, function that will receive the ID of the item and will return the item. Okay, for now it doesn't do anything and I have a typo here. Okay, uh, and what I want to do is uh, return the item, but because it's a cache, let's create a uh, cache items cache here it's, it will be simply uh, an object okay for now it will be uh, an object and I will initialize it here initialize it here items cache items cache will be simple uh, objects this items cache okay and uh, now what I will do is simply check the cache. If the item is in the cache, I will return it. Otherwise, I will create the new item, put it in the cache and return it as well. So this is how I'm going to do. If this item's cache has the uh, ID inside of it, if it is healthy, I will return this item's cache on the ID. Otherwise, I will create the item with new this items constructor with the ID. It will be an item. Okay. And I will put it inside the cache, this items cache, 
equals item and return the item simply like this so uh, let's just uh, give some example of how it will work so let's create uh, our cache will be new items cache and it that it has to accept a, a constructor of items so the, uh, the constructor is simply the class name like so okay and now I will be able to create items so uh, let's create item 1 cache equal, uh, create item will be one it is it should be a string let's give it a string a and create item two it should be cache dot create item with b and let's create another item the three cache create item with another with the same id okay and let's just log them the uh, item one item one item two item three and item three and let's log some uh, I don't know a comparison item one and item two should be item one is it equal to item two and the same thing for the first and the third items let's compile it and write so node source advanced js okay so now what we have here we have uh, an item okay so we have the first item it is an instance of the class item and the id is a uh, the second item is the same thing with the id b and the third item is an item with the, the id a as well and we can see that the comparison of item one and two is is false there are different references but the third and the first items are actually the same references which means uh, our cache uh, works properly uh, for the uh, items cache here we can change it to be more specific simply by creating an interface of key going from string to item okay it's uh, anonymous interface it doesn't have any name uh, assigned to it uh, and this way we uh, assure that the item here is uh, is from the correct type so if I type it like this like string it will yell at me if we want to be even more uh, precise we will create a an interface which we'll call uh, items cache uh, no, it's, it's the same as a class. We'll create. We'll call it. I don't know. Um, mm, 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 items map. No, I item to item map, and it will be a map from the ID ID to the item, and we can call it like this. We can assign it. Uh, the type like this. One more thing that we can do uh, is to use classes as interfaces. For example, we have a class item and uh, we can use it as an interface like this. We can have a an item, it will be a fourth item, and it will be a, an item. Okay, and we can create it like so. Uh, ID should be a new ID okay and just log it console log item 4 item 4 ok 
okay let's compile it and run it so this is the new line the item 4 uh, but the difference is uh, there is no information about the class uh, of the object uh, where you can see the difference from uh, all the first three items which has uh, which have the information of the class item and our fourth uh, item doesn't have this information we can also uh, uh, do uh, the same thing like this item 5 it can be an item this is how you do casting in TypeScript and it will be new ID 2 the same thing so when I run compile and run it again uh, okay sorry I forgot to log it item 5 and let's again compile and run it. Uh, we see uh, the same thing, uh, no information about the class of the item, but everything works fine. The last thing that I'm gonna show is how we can uh, extend uh, a class with an interface. It will be, it is a little bit weird, you, I didn't see uh, things like this in uh, other languages, but uh, and it has some weird uh, uh, things going on with it that I'll show you and this is why I usually don't do it but uh, for the sake of the example I will show you so uh, let's first create a barrier console log will be some barrier show so we know we're looking at different uh, things now let's Make it thicker, okay. And now let's create a class and control, and it will have a private state. Any, it doesn't even matter what it does, okay. So we have a, a control like a user control, and it has some state. Uh, is it open, pushed, selected, uh, over? I don't know. Some state of the class, and we'll have an interface of selectable control. And it will extend our class control. How it will extend it? Using it will uh, add a function select. Okay, so we can uh, select like it is a checkbox or I don't know. Uh, so we can uh, click on it and select it. Uh, okay, now let's create a class button. Uh, no, let's make it a checkbox and it, it extends our control class and has a select function that, that doesn't do anything for the sake of example it doesn't uh, matter what it does and we have a class uh, image which simply has the select function Okay, uh, okay, it conflicts, so let's check uh, it conflicts with uh, some other image. Uh, so let's uh, rename it to button. Okay, and okay, so let's leave it like this. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Now let's create some uh, variable and it will be selectable, selectable control and it will be of type selectable control okay now what I will show you uh, is what I can do with it and what I cannot do it with it uh, regarding uh, assignment to it so if I try to assign to the selectable control an instance of checkbox it will be okay why because checkbox is a control so uh, it satisfies the extends control of the selectable control and it also has the select function which satisfies this interface you can see here that uh, the checkbox doesn't uh, implement the selectable control uh, implicitly uh, it does it explicitly by having the same uh, functionality uh, it, it is called duct typing in a typescript 
Uh, meaning if it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, then it's a duck. Uh, but when I try to assign, assign a button to the selectable control, it yells at me. Why? Because uh, it tells me the button is not assignable to uh, selectable control because the property state is missing. Uh, but you can see that the state is actually a private property. Uh, I cannot access it from here. So when I try to use selectable control dot state, it doesn't exist. Uh, but uh, TypeScript knows to check for the private properties as well, because uh, when I, for example, uh, I don't know, have a function uh, of not like here here if I have some function uh, I don't know uh, do stuff and it has accepts a control which is a selectable control selectable control I can access the property state from within here uh, I can set it to some state why because selectable control extends the control so it has all the properties private and public of the control and because I'm inside the control class I have the access to all the private properties as well of the control. So this is why button is not a selectable control because if I call the uh, selectable control dot do stuff and pass a new button it will not have the state uh, that it expects to have here. So this is why uh, even though the button has all the public properties of the selectable control and all the public properties of the control, it is not a selectable control. But the checkbox, uh, which does have uh, the control properties, all the public and private properties, and all the public uh, implementation of the interface, it is actually the selectable control. So I will leave it in a comment like so and in a comment like so for the sake of the example so we will be able to see uh, and we'll type those this will yield errors. Okay so um, again I can assign to an interface which extends a control only instances of uh, things that have all the public and private uh, members, functions uh, of all the extended uh, interfaces and classes. Only then TypeScript will allow me to uh, assign the new uh, element to the variable of the selectable control. To summarize, today we've seen some advanced features of interfaces in TypeScript. We've seen how to create an interface of constructor and how to use it with the cache implementation. We have also seen how to extend a class with an interface and some issues involving uh, the issue with uh, private uh, functions and fields. I seriously advise you to not do it because it makes the code unreadable and confusing. You have watched an episode about advanced features of interfaces in TypeScript. Let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment down below. You can watch more TypeScript episodes by clicking over here or the video that YouTube selected just for you by here. If you want to watch other code related videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you on the next episode of Programmarist.